Hello, please extend a hand of friendship by liking my video and subscribing to my channel. Now let's get to it. In this video, I'll be discussing soap recipes that I found online and I'll show you actual bars that I made with the recipe as well as a lather test. So the first recipe is from Heart's Content Farmhouse and it's the best cold processed soap recipe. That's what she labeled it and it stands true to that. It really was one of the best recipes that I found. It lathered really well with like a few minutes of the cut. It was very easy. The only thing I didn't like was that it used a lot of oils, but I guess that would make sense if you wanted it to be the best cold process recipe out there, or at least one of them. Uh, it would require, I guess, a lot of oils, but it was a really, really good bar. So by far, one of my favorite bars that I've made. I made all the bars that I'm discussing in this video. I made these bars back in October and November of 2022. And now we're in July, July 7th of 2023. And the lather, oh my gosh, you have to wait to see it. It's really nice. So that's the recipe. Um, that's her website. So check her out. Here's the bar of soap that I made. And like I said, this is one of my favorite bars. It is great. The lather's great. I didn't have much, um, I guess because she did a water discount, there wasn't much soda ash. I made about 10 bars off that recipe and it's really great. I really like that recipe. And here's the lather. The next recipe I used was from Lovely Greens and it was her eco-friendly soap recipe. And it truly is a lovely recipe. I ended up making a lot of bars based off this recipe just because it was so straightforward. It was so easy. Her website was very user friendly. It was nice. As you can see, as I'm scrolling down, with her recipe, it, uh, it allows you to do one times, two times, and three times the recipe is already calculated for you. Of course, you should run it through soap calc just to make sure that, every, that the lie and everything is okay. She does use a water discount, but it was just so convenient and so nice. And I like the, the pure color, the pure white of the soap bar. So even though the last bar that I mentioned from um, the farmhouse, the Heart's Content farmhouse was definitely like one of my favorites. This one with Lovely Greens was much more like usually friendly. So I really like that one. The only thing I didn't like, which I ended up coming up with my own recipe was because this recipe, the coconut oil kind of made it really cleansing, I guess, so to speak. So it was a little too drying for me after a bath when you wash your hands it wasn't a big deal but like after a bath or a shower you could kind of feel the dryingness of it but otherwise it was a really really good soap and here's the bar that I made with the lovely greens recipe like I said I made a lot of soap bars with it but this one was one of my favorite this is an unscented bar with rose clay and i called it hurricane swirl because of how the swirls were it came out it was really nice still a good bar of soap i still use and here is the lather The next bar I use is from Brambleberry. It is the, I think it's the Old Faithful recipe. And of course, if you've been watching soap videos, you're probably well familiar, really familiar with Brambleberry. So I don't have to say too much about that, but the Old Faithful recipe was really faithful. It turned out really well. The only thing I didn't like was, I guess because it, there was no water discount, there was a lot of soda ash. So it made me feel like I failed at my first Brambleberry bar. But otherwise, it was good. And here are the bars that I made. Actually, because I had a fragrance oil issue, I ended up turning this into a hot process soap with the same recipe. And so the bars are a bit rustic, but they cleanse just as well as any other bar. And here is the lather. Mm -hmm. 
This next recipe is a gentle baby soap recipe from Our Orly House. That's her website. And I did this or I looked up this recipe because I thought I wanted to make soap for children until I looked up all the legal regulations that are required and was like, you know what? I'll pass on the soap for kids. It's very heavily regulated. But this was a good bar of soap. I must say in the beginning, I did not like it. I did not really think the lather was that well. I mean, it definitely seemed like a gentle soap for children. But as you can see um, later on in this video, when you see the lather test, you'll see that it really lathered well over time. So I think the cure time she had up there was three weeks. Clearly it's been over six months. And I would say the longer the better. I did not test the lather maybe like after six weeks or 10 weeks, but it definitely is nice now. Otherwise, it was a good bar of soap. It was an easy recipe. Um, there was the uh, jojoba oil that was used, which that's not normally an oil that you buy in the beginning of your soaping experience, but it was nice. I liked it. And here are the bars that I made. Like I said, it was supposed to be a baby soap, so I made the, the small cylinder soaps or soap bars, and they were nice. So I'll show you guys the lather now. I guess bars or soap are just like wine. They get better over time because the leather lather on this soap bar was amazing compared to what it was in the beginning. The last recipe I got from a website called makeyourown.buzz and it was one of the first recipes that I've made and honestly I wouldn't really recommend this recipe just because it wasn't difficult to make. Um, it was, a, I think, maybe four or five oils, so a little bit more than what I anticipated. But afterwards, I think because of the amount of castor oil the recipe called for, it definitely had a sticky feel to it after you would use it. And definitely like after leaving it out um, to dry afterwards, it would stick to whatever it was on. It just had a lot of sticky gulk stuff attached to it. But otherwise, the lather was amazing from day one. It's always been really good lather, but that could be because of the castor oil too. I just thought it was a little bit too sticky for me. And here is the actual bar of soap that I made and I used my crinkle cutter to cut it because I thought I was real fancy. But like I say, it's a good lather, nice bar of soap, just a bit too much castor oil. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be putting out more videos on my soap and lather. And if anything interests you that you would like to see, please leave a comment below. Thanks.